I like to get right into the video. So I just showed you the latex I use. I got from Walmart. And yeah, this stuff smells so bad, guys. Like I swear I don't like the smell. But anyways, um, going right into putting the latex on. There's a few things I would have done different. But since this was my first time doing it, um, yeah, I didn't um, really get the concept of it at first, but I learned it along the way. So this is basically just tissue, and I am placing that on top of the latex where I want the scars to be. Um, I started with, like, the this is two-ply tissue, and I started with putting both pieces of the two-ply on my face. Um... Eventually, I learned that using one piece and then add another piece will work. But right here, I'm just tearing it off where I want it to go, um, like the sh in the shape I want it to be. And then I started adding more latex on top, but I quickly learned that it tears up the tissue. So I need to let it dry before I add more latex. So I just moved on to the next scar. And like I said, I learned quickly some of the things that, you know, I would do differently in the next the next time I attempt something like this, um, like I will probably cut my tissue ahead of time so I won't have to like rip it and like it's falling apart. My scars were too far apart in my opinion, but you know, we live and we learn. It's a trial and error type of thing. So yeah, right here is like it's dry now. So once you go in with it and start putting the uh, latex on top of it again, it won't, you know, rip your tissue. Just let it dry some before you, you know, start doing it again. Especially if you're using a sponge. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like fanning, I'm just like letting it dry. So here uh, it's dry. So I just start like spacing them apart which I spaced them too far apart in my opinion but yeah spacing them apart and like ripping it and tearing it the way I want it to look I also see people use spoons um, for laying down the latex so it won't stick to the tissue so here I just took some foundation it was a uh, MAC foundation and I just started, I started putting it all around the areas, but then I quickly realized like, oh, okay, the whole thing needs to be the color of my skin. Um, this foundation was a little too orange in my opinion, but because we just moved, I didn't know where my other foundation was. So I had to go ahead and just flow with this one. There's still white parts on that you can see, but I'm going to go in and change that. So here I took a, the little pair of um, eyebrow scissors or whatever you want to, you know, call them. And I'm trying to cut my, you know, scars. But it's so deep because I, I put about four layers of tissue. So it's so deep that I had to like really force my way in. I'm not hurting myself. Like I didn't stab myself at all. Um, but just be very careful and move slow. It probably looks like I'm moving fast because I sped the video up. But just move slow and everything will be good. Yeah, I also learned that I should have laid down the edges better too because they were like lifting, lifting as I was trying to like cut. But yeah, here you see how I just opened it, you know. I tried to scratch and see what it messed up the edges, but it didn't. So yeah, I'm just going to speed this up a little more so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. And I'll stop talking now. <laughs>
So throughout the video, I'm probably going to be going back and forth like with this foundation trying to cover up some of those white spots. But here I just took some black out of a P BH Cosmetic um, eyeshadow palette. I'm taking black and red, like the darkest red in the palette. And I'm just going over it to make it look like um, blood. Just going over the scars. Make sure you get in the inside too, like where all that white is. So that you can't see the white. So these are the lashes I'm using. They were, um, I guess for someone that's gonna be Batgirl. And I lost the clip of me actually applying them. So all you see here is me like pressing them against my real lashes. And then this is the nails I used, which were horrible. Like they kept falling off the entire time I was doing my makeup. I thought, I mean, maybe I should have did it afterwards, but yeah, they shouldn't have been falling off like that. So here I'm just adding um, like the black cream. And then I'm adding some red cream. This is like paint. This is just to add to it looking a little more gory. Is that a word? Gory? <laughs> Can you guys see my nails literally falling off right now? It's so annoying. And then I'm adding red, I think this is the blood now. Yep, this is the red blood I'm adding to it. So this is, uh, I think this is old, the old Ruby Red or Ruby Rue, something like that um, by MAC. 